This flexible filament, which is called TPU, is different kinds. This is the most common and one of the most flexible. I've been working with these phone cases and it's, it's been a trick printing with it. This, it's, it's amazing how flexible it is, but I've had a lot of failed prints and actually just got the right print settings here. It just finished and that's a nice looking case. Well, let's take this out. It's amazing, you can just pull off these flexible prints. And it's always best to take it off the print bed while it's hot, because once it cools down, it gets really tricky to pull off. It's really amazing how this stuff flexes. So the finish on the bottom is pretty smooth, just needs cleaned up a little bit. If you have imperfections in your build plate, like there's some scratches here, it does show up on the back, but it's a really nice looking print. And here's the completed product. It looks pretty nice, especially the black TPU. It took a few tries to get it to work. Of course, the finish here on the bottom isn't the best. If you had a cleaner build plate, it would give a lot more of a uniform finish, but I think this is fine. And I probably could have scaled it up about 5% because it doesn't quite fit over that camera lip. It kind of touches that and the whole thing's a little bit tight, but it does fit. It'll work for now until I get another one printed. And the nozzle temperature was 240 degrees Celsius. I had it running at 40 millimeters a second. The build plate was at 55 degrees Celsius. And those were the settings that worked for me. And after a lot of iterations, I'm not sure why those were the ones that worked. I'm guessing it's because of the higher temperature on the nozzle, because one problem we were having, it, was, it would just lose, extru lose extrusion. And I think it was a mixture of taking the speed down a little bit and the nozzle temperature up. I think that was able to make it work. For this roll of TPU, it was about 25 to $30, which is a bit more expensive than standard PLA, which is typically what you're printing with. And this is just unbranded TPU. It's not NinjaFlex. NinjaFlex makes it's, it's, all, it's actually more flexible, it's amazing, but it's about $40 and it's actually not even a full roll. It's very expensive, so if you need something really flexible, Ninja Flex is great. You can see just how flexible this normal TPU filament is, and it does a great job, especially at the price for doing a lot of prototyping and different projects you're doing. I would give an estimate of definitely less than a dollar for this case, maybe 50 cents or even less, because when you think about it, if this roll is $35. I feel I could probably print about 30 of these, 35 I guess, so about a dollar for the case, maybe less even, and that's a pretty good price, and you don't have to wait for shipping. I'll carefully snip off some of these supports. It's great to have some really sharp pliers to cut the rubber. I decided to print this just with just one head printing the support, because having both heads, first of all having them aligned, both working, is always tricky. It's just a lot simpler if you can print the support material and the product material on the same nozzle. There's a lot of setup to get both of them to work. It would peel off a bit easier, you could just pop it out, but it's not too hard to take out the support with some clippers.